Hello awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do subscription box unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I'll throw something else on to keep you on your toes. And today, I just want to do a get ready with me and chit chat video. And I decided that I want to play with my Pure Perfect Your Selfie palette. Oh, it's a really nice palette. It has a little mirror that I don't use. And then these are blushes and these are the eyeshadows I'll be working with today. Um, for those of you who are new to this palette, let's see, we have Purist, which is right there. We have number one, which is, oh, you can't see that, can you? A little better. Buildable. We have World Class, which is that color there. We have Remarkable. We have Everything. And then we have Flawless. That are them are the colors. I can barely see that one, but it's shimmery. Okay, okay. Oh my hair. I want it down today, but it bugs me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the purest shade. I really do like this palette. I've only used it once before, that's why I want to give it a little bit of love today. I'm not using no primer. You don't need it. I just wanted to talk with you guys. I never sit down and just actually talk with you. It's always business is how I feel, but I mean, I guess I don't eat, but you know, you know. So I'm super excited. I just made a, another add-on to OxyCharm. I couldn't help myself. I was going to get some makeup off of Poshmark, off of a YouTuber that, um, I watch, but the palette that she had that I wanted, I went in and I started putting stuff in my bundle and then I went to go grab that palette and I was so disappointed because it said that it was in reserve so somebody else had put it in their bundle and I waited like, I don't know, 15-20 minutes because I'm impatient and um, I still hadn't left so I just was mad. And then I decided to um, go check out a couple of other sites, and there was really nothing that I was wanting, but I did want um, some things on BoxyCharm that I didn't order the first time around, so I figured to hell with it. I'll just do another add-ons because I had to go in to um, BoxyCharm and make a purchase with add-ons. Um, to buy everything that I needed for my future giveaway. Okay, after that, I think I'm just gonna do Remarkable, which was, I think that color right there. Um, I guess I knew about that, but. So I went back in and seeing that they still had some stuff that I wanted. So I was like, why not? Why not? I was gonna buy makeup today anyways. And I actually got the palette that I wanted, that I was trying to buy from Poshmark, and for $3 cheaper. So, I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to come in. I'm getting the Queen palette that they had in the Premium Boxy Charm. I absolutely fell in love with it when I seen it. It's definitely got bright colors, and it was calling my name. And there are colors in there that are similar to some of the colors I already have, but there was some colors in there that I don't have and that's super exciting. At least I think so anyways. I think that's super exciting for me. All right. Oh yeah, I was just using my Moda brush. Still trying to get better at that. And this is my Morphe brush and we'll just use Flawless next. Um, and then I have been, uh, every time that I do an unboxing when something is really, really expensive, I'll be like, oh man, I would never pay for that. But I think I need to stop doing that because I'm finding out that um, a lot of the stuff that's expensive that I say I would never buy again, I 
actually would buy again. So, um, yeah, like, I'll show you in a second. Um, so, for instance, I received this um, hydrobonic recovering um, sleeping mask from Dr. Brandon. And like, I think it was my June. Um, yeah, actually it was, um, in my, um, June boxy base and the retails for $52. And I was like, what the flipping what? And I was like, wow, that's a lot of money for some skincare. Cause you know, I never bought the expensive stuff. I just always thought it wasn't worth the money. Well, I'm finding out that it is, it is worth the money. At least I think so. Maybe not every product out there, but um, I shouldn't speak before I know, I guess, because like I felt like a liar because I said I wouldn't buy this. And there's a good chance that I will be buying it once it's done. And so let me do a little talkity talk with you really quick since this is a chit chat and get ready with me. So this was, you know, pretty well full um, and I got it. And I am down to right here. So I have that much left. Now I started using this product June 12th of this year. So that's July 12th, August 12th, September 12th is three months and it's like going into October. Um, I don't know if it will last me, um, until a second, I'm picking it up with my feet cause I dropped it. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll, um, if it'll last me until October 12th, but I do believe it's going to get me pretty close to, um, to that, uh, mark. And so if you take $52 and you divide that by four months, like it's a little, like, what is it? 11, 12, something, 14. I don't know. I didn't do the math, but it's really not that much for a month. And I would spend $15 a month on other stuff for my face that I didn't think worked anywhere as good as this does. And there's another product that I wanted to discuss with you guys, but I have to go to my bathroom and get it. So the second thing that I want to talk to you guys about is my Kylie skincare face wash. Um, it's foaming face wash and you get five full ounces in it. And this retails for $24 and I got it, excuse me. I got it at the same time that, um, I got the, um, this came in the same box actually so my June oxycharm base box and um anyhow I'm gonna use this brush next and I'm gonna go in with the um world class and I think it's that one yeah because it's shiny um anyhow this okay I'm trying to do makeup and I'm not done talking yet um I use this every morning and every night to wash my face since um, I got it in June because um, it's I hate to waste it but so you go like this so if anybody's interested in it and you squeeze it and you take about that much out okay and really that's all your face needs because it's foaming and then um, that's not even the amount of a half of a pump like if you were to put a full pump which I'm not going to because I don't like to waste my stuff but you just go like this and it foams like so if when your face is wet, it go it just cleans your whole entire face. Um, and I use it, you know, like after I take my makeup off and then first thing in the morning. And so I think that this right here is going to last me a good six months or longer because it's almost four months. And, you know, I don't even think that's half of the bottle yet. So, um, yeah, like some products are like super good, even though you wouldn't think they would be or, you know, you might be like, oh, I wouldn't buy that because it's so expensive. Like I've been doing going, oh no, I wouldn't buy that. But I'm like, oh, well actually <laughs> it's pretty nice and I might want to buy it again. So I do need to quit saying that I'm not going to buy stuff because I'm going to buy certain things over again that I like. It's the whole reason for getting the subscription box in the first place is to spend a little bit of money to get products that you normally wouldn't buy. And if you get BoxyCharm or MC, they're all high-end products. They're all expensive products. I think the um, cheapest thing that I've gotten in my Boxy base was these Morphe brushes. Um, and I think it said that they were $12. So like, um, I don't know. I'm just going to quit saying that. Does have any of you guys like figured that out or whatever? Um, because I keep track. I'm one of those really weird people that, um, 
like to write down um, what they're using and when they start using it. I like to um, keep track of uh, like the price so that way like I'll write it down, you know, like I got this, cost this much um, to see like how long it lasts. Now, yeah, there are products that um, you can get that are kind of on the pricey side and they're not going to um, work as good as um, everything, you know? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but, oh, I like this. What do you guys think? Doing a, I don't know what kind of look it is today. Natural, neutral, browns look today because I've been doing some really bold eyes lately, and I do like my bold eyes, but sometimes I just like it to be a little bit, a little bit on the um, not so bright side and give my lips the brightness. I'm giving away my piece of my lipstick today, so... Can you guys hear my chickens? That is the sound. If you can hear them, they're going like quack, quack, quack type of thing. Um, well, it's kind of sound more like a duck, but yeah, like I'm not an impersonator or anything like that. Um, but uh, they lay eggs and then they hot, they move and they make a lot of noise. I found out researching them. So that way if there's predators around, then the predators don't know where the eggs are. And our chickens are free range, so during the day, they just go about wherever they want. I have seven acres, and they just do their own thing. And then at night, um, they go home, and then we lock them up in their cage until the next morning. Um, and then we do the same thing over and over again. I have a goat who actually screams like a kid. The first time... He screamed. I don't know why, but I thought there was a hurt child outside, and I was confused because all my children were in my house. So, anyways, I step outside, and I still hear this um, child screaming, or what sounds like a child screaming. And they sound like they're in pain. And I'm like, what the flying is going on here? So I'm like, what's going on? I have neighbors, but they're not close by. And I honestly don't think any of them are ch have children. And um, if they do have children, I've never seen them. So um, I'm like, what's going on here? And then I start to follow the child screams. And it was the goat. It was our goat. Brownie. Um, that's his name. He was named when we got him. But I really think he knows his name because if you yell Brownie, he'll come to you like from one side of his cage to the other side or whatever. So he's like already three years old. He's a mountain goat, so he likes to jump and um, climb things. So we had to make him a special cage. That way he didn't get out of anything. Man, I'm still so furious. I still have glitter all over my face from that damn palette. This one right here. This one right here. Ugh. I think I'm going to put it um, in my uh, pile that I let my granddaughter use to put makeup on me because uh, it is an, it's annoying. I let her use my makeup when she, she's around or when I go around her. I make sure I take makeup. And she loves putting it on me. She's only four. So I always make sure I take makeup. I have um, a few things that um, I don't use very often. So those are the palettes that uh, um, I let her use. I have some lippies or lipsticks that I barely use. And, you know, so that's just what is going to happen. Unless somebody in my family is like, yeah, I want that palette. But... I don't know why anybody would actually want it. <sighs> I know I'm such a whiner sometimes. Such a whiner sometimes. But that's who I am. And I do gotta say though, 
I am so excited about this collaboration I'm going to be doing, or collab, or however you guys want to call it. Um, it is going to be awesome, I think. Um, Johanna and Cheryl and I, we just um, want to give back to the people that are subscribed to us and who follow us and who um, comment and like, you know, our videos. And that's why you all are going to have to subscribe to all three of us um, because we all pretty much do the same thing, just a little bit different. We all have different attitudes. We all have um, different ways of unboxing and presenting our channel, but we're all pretty much the same in reality. So I don't see why if one of my subscribers likes me, they wouldn't like one of them. So that's, you know, what we're going for. And, um, we're trying not to get fake subscribers. That's why we're going to be super um, chill about it. Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here really quick to remind you of the collab giveaway that I'm going to be doing with Gracefully Cheryl and Johanna Masonet. Hopefully we'll have the video up within the next two weeks or less, but I just want you guys to get ready and be prepared. So if you haven't already subscribed to Gracefully Cheryl or Johanna, Masonet. You can find them up in the little white thing that's up here or in my description box if you are a regular subscriber that watches me to the very end. Then I hope that you will go ahead and jump on over to these ladies' channels and subscribe to them. So when the um, collab video goes up with all the rules to the giveaway, you will already be set. Thank you. We're going to be mentioning it in um, our videos, you know, in the middle or towards the end to keep the um, trolls and fake subscribers away. We're going to use the top notch uh, blush and that is that right there. I'm using this BH, um, I don't know what it is, it just said powder brush, so I, I think it's probably like setting powder. I don't, I don't, I don't do setting powder often, um, but if you you know, subscribe to the three of us, then if you miss one of our videos, um, there's going to be two others that you can grab. So when we have the giveaway, there's going to be three different giveaways, one for my channel, one for Cheryl's channel, one for um, um, Johanna's channel, and then um, they're all different too from what we've talked about that I'm aware of, the products that I'm aware of at the moment, I believe all the palettes are different, um, and then, you know, everything else. So there's going to be a palette, um, a lipstick or a lippy, or a lip gloss, and um, there'll be a mascara, an eyeliner, and a blush, and or maybe contouring kit, something, you know, that you could do. We're trying to do, like, a full look of makeup without you know, the foundation and the concealer and the primer and all that. Um, so, you know, if you have all of that, then all I gotta do is add on the products that you win from us and it's going to be super, super cool, I think, anyways. And then um, we're going to probably keep collabing and um, probably um, doing giveaways. I don't know how often. We do have to see how this one goes, but I do believe that it's gonna be awesome. So I'm going to use my, um, Jewer, Jewauer, I have no idea, I know I bomb it, and this is in the, um, shade Bond, I received this, I believe, in my very first Boxy Charm, and I absolutely love it, it's so dark, I had to finish that up, um, without, I can't talk when I put my lipstick on, so that is my bold, Drew, Jewer, I have no idea. But anyways, um, I am feeling this lipstick. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Anyways, I think I've taken up enough of your time. So I think everything that I had to say I did. And if not, there'll be other videos. Wonderful day. Remain awesome.